Coming up inside LSU Gymnastics, a look back at a wonderful season-setting performance against Auburn in the Maravich Center on Friday night. And pay close attention. Your tickets for the last home meet of the season against Alabama are going fast. LSUTix.net. You better get yours today. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer, Gulf Coast Office Products, Sigma Engineers. Sigma Engineers is thankful to our clients who trust us year after year and to the commitment of our selfless employees who bring such great talents to our company. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety and quality sets us apart as one of the leaders in the petrochemical industry. Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best. It's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman Center for Wellness and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer. Gulf Coast Office Products. Welcome to Inside LSU Gymnastics, along with LSU head coach Didi Bro. I'm Mike Smith. We come to you this week inside the training room of the new LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the campus of LSU in Baton Rouge. And Didi, yet another one of the rooms and, and, and assets that really just sets this entire building apart. Well, you know, this is the Donna and Craig Rathjen family training room. And the really neat thing about this is we have a, a gymnast, Donna Rogers, and a football player, Craig Rathjen, they are married, live in Houston, and have a wonderful family. And they came together and made this a very generous donation to gymnastics, as well as one of the main entrances to the football stadium. And we're actually just steps away from the main part of the gym, so your student athletes can come in and get the training that they need, and then move right on in to compete. It's a, a major part of their day. It's a huge part of what we do in preparation for practice. And speaking of preparation, the Tigers look like on Friday night against Auburn in the Maravich Center that they were absolutely prepared for that meet. They came out of the gate against a very good, very disciplined and well accomplished Auburn team. So we were excited to do well against them. You know, we started out with, I thought, uh, vaults that reflected the kind of training that we did this week. You know, so we needed we need more sticks in that event. Sarah Finnegan, beautiful vault. She's getting in her stride. Um, nice stick on that vault. A little bit deep. That was probably the deduction for the vault, but overall a great vault. Um, Randy Wyrick, once again, her vault is so big. It's in the air. It's got a nice sharp turn to it. She took a little step on it, but but a beautiful vault, and it was and it was well rewarded. And then Maya Hambrick, Dee Dee, wow, what, an, what just what a night that she's had. What a season that the sophomore from Temple, Georgia is having. Well, she's got her blinders on, and she, is, she prepares every week for the competition. And um, you, you can see her tempo. You can see her as she, as she paces herself through the week. Beautiful vault, nice height, nice distance, and it, it's beginning to settle down. Season high, 9-9 nine, nine gets you to the end of the lineup. And, you know, you, you look at Ashley Nad, and we've watched that double twisting your chinko each and every week this season. It just seems to get incrementally better. 9975 this week, and it was tough to find a deduction. You know, Mike, we say all the time that self confidence is the first prerequisite to great undertakings, mm -hmm. and that vault requires a tremendous amount of discipline and training and self-confidence. The LSU Tigers with a 49-4-5 vaulting effort. It's one of the higher scores of the season, Dee Dee. Talk about momentum now as you head over to the uneven bars and the crowd just absolutely senses that LSU's come to play today. Starting on bars and with Jessica Savona lead off, we, we switched her out mm -hmm. of that back spot and moved her back to the leading lead off position for us, which she's done for two years. I thought her handstands were better. Her body positions were a lot tighter. Mm -hmm. um, 
came around, her landings, her, her double layout is really nice and she gets so excited in the end of it. She does. Settle that down and just give us a nice stick, but she's so eager and so enthusiastic. You have a great senior year. Absolutely. Then you keep rolling and Maya Hambrick, second in the lineup, Dee Dee, a 9-9-2-5 score. You and I talked about that after the meet because you, you felt like that it was important to have that sort of, of level of intensity and, and ability at the second spot in the lineup to help continue to add up scores on bars. Now, to, to roll through the lineup, mm -hmm. Maya Hambrick is so critical. Her handstand positions, her, her body is so tight, and she just looks so good doing her gymnastics, but she does things big. She does things really well. She's a beautiful full pirouette on the high bar, and then goes straight to a nice bail, and then uphill. So she stacks her difficulty <laughs> and just backs it up one skill after another. Maya Hambrick, the second bars title of the season for the second person in the lineup. That doesn't happen very often. A 9-9-2-5 score, and now, as we would say in South Louisiana, you're cooking with grease. Well, exactly, and to, to, to begin to push the back end of that lineup to give them the confidence to, to really fight for handstands and, and to, to go for amplitude in their skills. Sarah Finnegan, I think, demonstrated that for us and really fought mm -hmm. to hit every handstand, give us great amplitude, and fought to stick that landing. She did indeed. 9-9 nine, nine for the freshman from Lee Summit, Missouri. And then how about Shay Zamardi? Ties her season high in the anchor spot with a 9-9 nine, nine to wrap you up. You know, the, the amplitude and the variety of skills that she does, you don't see that a lot. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she works difficulty on the low bar, difficulty on the high bar in both directions and has a lot of flipping skills in that routine. So it's difficult and will score well when she sticks. Speaking of scoring, 49-375 for the Tigers and LSU was rolling at the halfway point of the meet, Dee with almost 99 points. And when we come back after this timeout, we'll take a look at the second half of Auburn and LSU. You don't want to miss it right after this timeout on Inside LSU Gymnastics. This gymnastics moment brought to you by Sigma Engineering. Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Safety, relationships, quality, Excellence, engineering done right. One of my favorite memories from LSU is last year we competed at Bama and we beat them at their home and that was one of the most amazing experiences. After that meet we were undefeated in the SEC so that was exciting but also the bus ride home we were laughing and cheering so loud we were so excited um, and that's one of the best memories I have. It's something I'll never forget. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics. The second half of LSU and Auburn was spectacular. The Tigers DD with 99 points in the second half of the meet on a 198 breakneck pace and the balance beam you guys really stood tall and I know that's a difficult thing with lots of momentum and the crowd being really into it but you have to find your inner zen and and really stay on that beam. Well you know Erin Mekadeg leads us off she really set um, set the pace she didn't have her best routine but she set it up for Maya Hambrick who goes second and Maya once again just solid as a rock very focused um, good amplitude throughout the routine and you know the thing about about our beam is our difficulty is spread throughout when you look at what we're doing we're trying to put our series at the end of that routine before they do their dismount instead of doing all the hard stuff in the front of the routine every one of our kids spreads it out and I think Maya is an example and then big double full dismount and um, Suck it. Good nine, job. Yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. The crowd had something to cheer for there, and you felt like, okay, you got even more momentum that's building up here. Ashley Nat with the 9-9 nine, nine score. She seems to be so light and just so fluid on the balance beam. Deep. Well, she's got difficulty from the very beginning of the routine. She's got great leaping skills in the middle of the routine. Um, 
amplitude throughout, but her presentation, just her carriage, her, the way she presents herself is so confident and so aggressive on balance beam. And bangs out another big double full dismount and she knows when her feet hit the floor that it's a stick. Absolutely was and at that point 49-3 you're heading on the balance beam and then you're heading over to the floor exercise Didi. The crowd just absolutely out of their minds in the Maribridge Center sensing that the Tigers are getting ready to go to 4-1 and one in the SEC here. Sydney steps out, starts the program off, starts out the, her, her routine, solid tumbling, and then here we go, sets up Maya, our, our second person again, and I realized in this meet, she's second in what, three events, three events. for us. That's so right. she steps out there and her tumbling was, uh, she was on. But the Tigers weren't done. McKenna Kelly, third in the lineup this week. Dee Dee, the, the internal portions of that floor routine right. were clean. All of her dance moves were spot on. And of course, the tumbling for her is unquestioned. The tumbling was so good. And she, she finally got what she was looking to get from the beginning of the season. And it was indeed a season yeah. high for the freshman from Houston with a 9-9-2-5 score. And then, you know, we all just sort of sat back and smiled as we watched the senior, Jessica Savona, for the first time on the floor exercise. She's a former Southeastern Conference floor champion, Dee Dee. Yeah. She was back after a bit of an injury, and she looked like she had never missed a beat. She was just fantastic. You know, I was so happy her parents were here from Canada to, to see this. For her to be able to do that senior night, not senior night, but her senior year, right. middle of the season, it was imperative that we get that routine in there. Yeah. But she sets up the end of the lineup because she went number four, so we got five and six left to go. You do indeed. After the tying of the career high for Savona, you go with another senior, Randy Wyrick in the lineup in the fifth spot. And wow, that she has such gorgeous lines on that tumbling. And the crowd, you know, again, jaws open and, and then of course on their feet at the end. Her, her presentation, her dance is fun. She pulls the crowd in with her, but she sets it up. She tumbles great. But Ashley Nat tumbles with a whole different level of um, power, different level of, of, of uh, power in those legs and in what she's able to do off the floor. And when you look at Ashley's presentation and how she just gave herself to the crowd and said, come, come on in here, come on in here and, and perform with me, it was so much fun to watch. And the, the team knew it, the crowd knew it, mm -hmm. I, I think the coaches knew it. Sticks her last tumbling pass she might get that 10. And there's so many movable parts on floor. Yep. There's so many places where the judges can, can have an opinion, not necessarily a, a big deduction, but an opinion of I don't like that and take a half a 10. They didn't. When that score went up, <laughs> she just went crazy. And so did the crowd. It was a football atmosphere in there. What an outstanding point that is. It was indeed. It was the third career perfect 10 for Ashley Bugs and that. And you know, as this, this I, Look at me. I can't even come up with the words right now because she's just outstanding to watch. And, and you follow with, with Wyrick, it as much grace and fun as she is with Bugs with that power uh, and the sincerity of that performance was something we haven't seen in quite a while. Exclamation point. That's what it was. 197 825 for the Fighting Tigers. It's the season high score in front of a season high crowd. It was big things for the LSU Tigers on Friday night in the Maravich Center. This week's exceptional performance brought to you by Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best, it's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman's Center for Wellness. Our exceptional performance of the week, we're gonna give it to the LSU floor team on Friday night, a school record tying 49-7 score, Dee Dee. Well, I'm gonna put an exclamation at the end of that and, and put an exclamation on Ashley's floor routine. A perfect 10 for Bugs and Matt to cap off the night for the Fighting Tigers. You'll have more time to enjoy your life when you're more effective at work. So no matter how you define success, Savin Systems give you the tools you need to succeed. Contact us to learn more about Savin's advanced document management systems and make your office more effective. Savin works here. Call us at Gulf Coast Office Products and see how we can impact your business. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best. It's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman's Center for Wellness. 
Hi, I'm Maya Hambrick. Did you ever wonder what happens on Meat Day? Our Garrett went behind the scenes to show you. Let's check it out. This week's Inside Feature brought to you by Sigma Engineering. Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Safety, Relationships, Quality, Excellence. Engineering done right. Friday nights can't come soon enough for LSU Gymnastics. Jam-packed, high-energy crowds bring the Maravich Assembly Center to life for each home meet. The thrill of competition and the satisfaction of a routine well run help drive the student athletes to greater heights. The day of the meet itself is a culmination of a week's worth of preparation. The preparation for meet day starts on the Sunday that we come in and um, after our last competition and we, we review our last competition and then we put that aside and begin to focus on our next mission, our, our next competition. Um, getting ready for this particular meet this weekend, Auburn, a big SEC opponent, uh, they've got a lot of momentum going. So we really came in the gym on Monday after our Sunday workout and, and crushed it. Really came in hard, did a lot of hard workout, did a lot of pushing, trying to get some people in the lineup. As you begin to wind down into the inner squad, um, we like to take an easy day in the middle of the week and then come back for our inner squad and really put them to the test. LSU holds an inner squad scrimmage roughly 24 hours before each meet, with the gymnasts performing their routines in all four disciplines. The coaches grade each performance and determine a starting lineup for the next day's meet. We go through every event just like we would at a meet through a lineup, um, plus alternates, a few alternates. And it really just gives us confidence um, going into the meet, knowing that we can hit our routines under pressure. And it's also really fun for us because when we're training, you know, we're so focused and we have to do so many num like numbers of each routine. And on an inter-squad day, it's just like a meet. And so we try to replicate that energy too, which um, we really don't have to try on this team. Everybody's really excited. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, to get us in that mindset for the next day. Usually Monday and Tuesday are our hard work days, so, and then Wednesday we have off. So you work really hard on Monday and Tuesday, and then coming into Thursday you feel prepared, getting ready to do all your routines and show your, uh, your skills. The day of the meet begins like all others for the student athletes, with classes. Maya Hambrick takes a pair of courses on Friday, including English and a communications course on rhetoric and television. The gymnasts spread across LSU's lush campus annually compete for the highest GPA amongst all Tiger athletic teams. After class, everyone meets at the arena for a unique routine known as Power Circle. Uh, power Circle's like a mental routine set, so we come through and do basically everything we would do at the competition just without actually doing the skills. So you go through and you mentally go through all of your routines just as you would tonight. Yeah, I think it's really good to do prior to the meet because you get to come in here and um, just visualize yourself doing what you know how to do correctly. And there's like it takes away a little bit of the added anxiety when we go away about like you not don't know what to expect in the arena because all arenas are different and the way they're set up is different. So that helps um, to be able to go in there and just see it and to like kind of feel what you're doing. And then when we are at home, since we know where you know, where everything is and we're comfortable here. Um, you know, it just gets us really excited for later on tonight. I think that power circle is really important because repetition is really helpful in the sport. And I think going through exactly what we're going to be going through um, tonight is just going to be automatic whenever we compete tonight. After power circle, the team enjoys a buffet style lunch at the arena. With the clock ticking towards game time, the players begin preparing for the meet and styling each other's hair. LSU would tally their highest score of the season against Auburn, a 197-825. Maya Hambrick won the all-around title, her fourth on the year, and finished her meet day with titles on bars and beam. That's a very successful 24 hours in the life of an LSU gymnast. All right, Tiger fans, that's a wrap. McKenna, what are you doing here so early? Dee Dee, I'm getting ready for the season. I know, we are about to be in the full swing of things. Holy cow! Holy cow! LSU gymnastics tickets are less than the movies and fun for the family. Tickets start at just $3, so make sure to get yours today. Holy cow! When you find the home you want to buy, Choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first-time home buyers, offering conventional, FHA, VA, RD, construction, and jumbo loans. 
David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today, 921-8152. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics with D.D. Bro is brought to you each week by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Safety, relationships, quality, excellence. Engineering done right. Wow, what a night for the Fighting Tigers in the Maravich Center Friday, Didi. A season-high floor score, a season-high team score, and a season-high crowd inside the Maravich Center. And then after it was all said and done, I bet you we had about 5,000 folks inside the concourse of the Maravich Center. It was autograph night. You know, Mike, I'm going to give a 10 to our marketing and, and promoting team. That group really organized it well. They expected a crowd. We had a crowd. Lots of kids there to get autographs. And the last thing you want to do is for some child to leave without some of the autographs. And the lines were long, but there was so much organization. And, and the kids were very patient and, and really tried to move the lines along. So I'm, I've got to say, you know, I'm going to give a 10 to my kids for their enthusiasm doing that. But the level of organization that, that LSU put forward best foot forward on that effort. That was outstanding indeed because the crowds actually ringed the entirety yeah. of the concourse yeah. and, the, and the girls were spread out appropriately and uh, it was a very, very nice night. Well, I around. hope everybody got what they wanted. I hope everybody got the autographs that they wanted because that was our express goal. A Look Ahead brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer, Gulf Coast Office Products. Well, looking ahead, it's going to be a fantastic week for the Tigers of LSU as they take on the Florida Gators in the final SEC road meet of the 26 regular season, 2016 regular season, Didi. You guys are going to charter over there. Do you know what time you're leaving yet? No, we don't. We've got some kids that have some academic things they want to finish up on Thursday mm -hmm. afternoon. So we're hoping wheels up to 2.30, but it really depends on the academic center. And you have an opportunity for the kids to actually go to class on Thursday and not have to miss. And then, of course, the meet is on Friday, and then you're right back after yeah. the meet. You know, it's not just the classes, but it's the study sessions and those things that, that that you miss that are so important and you know our kids are pretty committed to, to doing well in school. Real quickly Didi, what do you expect out of the Tigers at Florida? Well I expect enthusiasm, I expect a consistent team effort, exactly what we saw Friday night in the PMAC, we need to bring that to Florida. Well Didi, speaking of A-game, the LSU Tiger followers on Facebook, we set a new milestone this week, over 25,000 followers on Facebook, absolutely burning it up. Our highlight pieces are being viewed by over 35,000 each and every time. And then of course, the, the Bugs Nat 10, if you haven't seen it, Go and be a part of the almost 100,000 folks that have looked at that perfect 10 on the floor this week on our social media, at LSUGYM on Twitter as well. And don't forget about our great Instagram page for all of those great behind the scene photos. We'll also be filling up the social media when the Tigers go to Gainesville on Friday night. It's LSU in Florida, the final SEC road meet of the season. And we'll recap it for you here next week inside LSU Gymnastics. Inside LSE Gymnastics with DD Bro has been brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Louisiana's number one copier dealer. Gulf Coast Office Products, Sigma Engineers. Sigma Engineers is thankful to our clients who trust us year after year and to the commitment of our selfless employees who bring such great talents to our company. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety and quality sets us apart as one of the leaders in the petrochemical industry. Woman's Hospital. It's not about being the best. It's about being the best version of yourself. Be the best you with help from Woman's Center for Wellness and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network.